Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of holes, parts, and percents. This is standard 6.5b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 8, which is a new item type called Equation Editor, of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So, out of 850 people, 32% had an annual pass, so that's, you know, we're thinking 32% of 850, but how many people did not have an annual pass? Okay, and then obviously we got equation ed editor. It looks just like a calculator, but basically we're just going to type in our answer. There's no A, B, C, or D to choose from, so we either get it or we don't. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so 32% of 850. We can calculate that. Okay, 32% of 850. Right, well, of lets us know we need to multiply there. And if I want to change this into a decimal, right, I could do 0 0.32 times this 850. All right, so if I want to find 32% of 850, let's just multiply 850 times 0 0.32. So 2 times 0 is 0, right? 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 8 is 16, add that 1 is 17. Second row, 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 5 is 15, 3 times 8 is 24, add the 1, 25. Let's put that there. There we go. All right. Now, we've got some zeros, but that's fine, because remember, we had two digits behind the decimal in one of our factors. We had two digits behind the decimal there. I need two digits behind the decimal there. Okay. So... 272 people, that's my 32%, had an actual pass. So 272 with an annual pass. But look what I'm looking for. How many did not have an annual pass? Well, this is one of those, you either have it or you don't. So if I had 272 with an annual pass, in order for me to find how many people did not have an annual pass, I could subtract that 272 from 850. So that's my total. And then I can subtract my 272. And that's uh, put AP for annual pass. We need to regroup here. That's going to be 8. Another regrouping. That's 7. Okay. 578 with no annual pass. So I'm thinking that's the answer. But there's another way to do this. Watch this. If 32%, right, if the total, let me do another subtraction first, is 100%, right? If everyone equals 100% and 32% had an annual pass, well, how many percentage, what percent of the people did not have an annual pass? Well, let's go ahead and regroup. I've got 8, I've got 68%, so 68% with no annual pass. Well, I'm wanting the number of people with no annual pass. So some of us might have done this. We first figure out, okay, 32% has an annual pass, then 68% doesn't have to, an annual pass, then I multiply that by 850, because that's exactly what I need. I don't have to subtract afterwards. I did my subtraction on the front side, so 68% is 0.68, times 0 is 40. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 5 is 40. That's 64. That's 68. Right? And then 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 8 is 48. At the 3, 51. That's going to be 8, 7. Look at this. Two digits behind the decimal. Two digits behind the decimal. Either way you look at it, 578, 578. So I have double checked my answer. We can do is type it in. So it literally is just going to be typing in this 5, this 7, and the 8. So 5, and then the 7, and then the 8. 